mushroom gecko. Do not enter, huh? That does not seem very convincing. Hi there, little bunny. No. Oh, there's a chest. And he's guarding the chest. Oh, no. The killer bunny of Cabinog. Jesus, I need your help. In the chest, you say? Oh, thanks, man. You're what? Uh, thank you. All right, you beast. Say your prayers. Sweet, I got the Holy Grail. Hey guys, Mushroom Gecko here. Welcome back to another Redstone Commander. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. And I think it's time that we do another one. I actually got a request, like the second to last day of school, about doing another Redstone uh, Commander or experiments, or whatever you guys still call it. Um, but as you guys saw there, I cannot kill it with the sword. But yeah, I could kill it with the grenade. So, um... So let's clear our items. Turn it to peaceful. Slash time. Slash day. And slash kill at e. Okay. So now that we're done with all uh, that stuff, let me get rid of these. Um, the thing is, if we get a snowball... Uh, I, I personally like to rename it Holy Hand Grenade, just because, um, you know, just from Monty Python and the Holy Grail and uh, the Killer Bunny of Carabinog was in there. Uh, Hand Grenade. So, uh, I, I like this, um, I did this Redstone Commander purposely to do uh, the Killer Bunny of Carabinog from the Holy Grail, and I, and I was just like, huh, well, I could do something pretty cool with this hand grenade, knowing that uh, it came from Money Python. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, really cool experiment. I really love this one. Uh, you just throw a snowball and a grenade. But that's not all, because as you guys saw, um... They, um, I could not kill the bunny with the sword at all, but yet I could kill it with the grenade. Like, the regular bunnies, so like if I grab a bunny egg right here, a rabbit egg, whatever you want to call it, and um, if I get a, uh, an iron sword, as you saw, I hit the uh, I hit the Karabinog bunny multiple times, but this one I, I can only hit it like, you know, two times and it died. But with the Karanog Bunny, I modified it a bit to um, make it withstand stuff and to give it weakness when it comes to the grenade. Uh, it's not that I have a really huge explosion power on the grenade, or else that would have just created a huge crater. So, uh, enough of me blabbering. First, we're going to test for a rabbit of the type 99. Now, 99 is the Karanog Rabbit. Uh, data value, whereas the other ones are like, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, this one is 99, uh, to, to give it its, like, own identity and stuff. Now, over here, if we, if, uh, if it successfully gets the Carabinog 99, it will immediately put an effect of regeneration on the, uh, on the rabbit. We're going to have it infinitely and on the highest value of 255. So instead of having regeneration 1 or 2, this is giving it regeneration to 255. Um, and the true rate here, if we do slash effect, effect, it's going to say hide, uh, down here it says like, down here it says like hide particles. Uh, we're, we're making that true so it know, so uh, we don't know that it, that it actually has like an effect on it. And then we're just going to give it just to the Karabinog bunny. Because if we did it to every single bunny, yeah, that would be a problem. Um, over here, if, um, actually no. Over here, we're going to test for a snowball. And if, it's, and if it successfully gets the snowball, 
as it lights up there. You guys probably saw, um, we're gonna summon Prime TNT, but it's not a regular one with, like, like five ticks or whatever, where it blinks five times. This is only gonna blink one time and then blow up, so it has the fuse of ten or one tick. And then we're gonna, uh, and then we're gonna immediately teleport the Prime TNT to the snowball. So, uh, TP at E type equals Prime TNT t 2 at E type equals snowball. So it'd be like slash TP mushroom gecko to awesome ISG. Oh, 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 so, okay, I don't care. I don't care how I spell the name. Anyways, so uh, yeah, that's basically what we're doing. And uh, oh man, oh man, I just blew up my whole redstone experiments. Uh, hang on, let me fix it. I can fix it. I can totally fix it. Alright, um... Actually, we need a repeater. Boom! No! Okay. Um, and then we're gonna do this. And Okay. So, um... Yeah, this is just basically the whole mechanism. Yeah, this is not what I want right here. And uh, I'm using the B snapshot 14W27B. Um, so the worlds are not glitched up anymore. Um, so everything's cool. And we don't need to worry about, like, um, messed up worlds anymore. So, um... So yeah, but there is another glitch. Um, the repeaters, if you place them down, are actually backwards. So this would originally be like three or four ticks, and uh, and this would be the one tick. But this is actually the four tick, and this is the one tick. So yeah, that's, so that's like really weird. So uh, to make the bunny invincible, once we spawn him in, this basically makes him invincible forever. This one right here. Uh, this test for the snowball that we threw over here. So these two are acting at the same time. So we're going to test for the snowball that we just threw. And if it correctly reads the snowball, it's going to take away the effect from the bunny so the explosion can kill it. So uh, that's basically all it is. It's really, really simple. So, uh, so like if I spawn in a bunny and then I spawn in the Karabinog, uh, let me get it. So if we like did that, and I hit this as many times as I could, it's not it's not ever gonna die ever. But these over here immediately. Okay, apparently not. Um, that's very very weird actually. That so that's a glitch probably. Cause I I thought I'm only testing. What if we did this? Huh, that's very weird actually. What if we did something like that? No? Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on really. Um, That's really, really weird, actually. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what it means by it's an invalid. Yeah, I'm testing for an entity that's a rabbit. The rabbit type equals 99. Alright, so, um... Slash kill at, at E... So if we spawn a regular rabbit and we hit it, yeah, okay. So um, let's spawn in a carbonal real quick, and then let's spawn in a regular. Okay, so that one's okay. This and this one, okay. So uh, we have that one. We have that solved. All right, so that's cool. So it was just a little mishap with the, with the machine. Um, so if we so like. Let's say we throw the snowball off over there. Um, 
after that, it immediately takes away the, the effect, which I honestly do not like, because then you can just go and smack it with your sword and kill it. But, um, just play the game fairly, because just, um, if I ever do put this up as, uh, as a minigame, <laughs> hyperpowers, um, I, I would like for you guys to use the snowball like it should be for, uh, for this. So, yeah. Um, also, I think that's about it, really, because, uh, this is all we have to show. So, like, if you throw a grenade at a rabbit, it kills it immediately. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, really, because, like, Monty Python and the killer bunny with the fangs and just, yeah. I'll probably put a clip down in the description below about the killer bunny. Uh, viewer expression advi uh, advised because, um, the bunny scene is kind of gory for some viewers. Because it, uh, it involved decapitation and other, like, bloody things. So, yeah, um, if you are planning on watching it and you are a minor, uh, check your parents first and make sure they're okay with you watching it. Or if you're not okay watching it by yourself, uh, get your parents in the room with you guys, alright? So, um... This is basically it, guys. Uh, the killer bunny of Carabinog. I really like this right now in experiments. So, uh, yeah, live a wonderful life in the Mycelium Mushroom. Have time in Club Geckos and keep those gems shining, everyone. Gecko out. Okay, so that's a glitch. Yeah, like, if you have more than one snowball, don't throw it multiple times, sir. So, yeah, um, actually, no, first, before I end it off, like, the final thing, I'm gonna label these. So, like, um, uh, block one, block two, Block three, block four, block five. Uh, I'm just labeling these so you guys, uh, when I put the command down below, you guys can see uh, where the thing should go. Block six, and uh, here's the last one. Block seven. So yeah, it's really not all that complicated. There's only seven command blocks, and they're really, really, really easy commands. So yeah, um, I guess I'll see you guys.